A deal only a real winner can get. <laughs> He's on fire. Uh, Caitlin Clark gets blockbuster five million dollar offer from Ice Cube's Big Three League. Five million dollar offer from Ice Cube's Big Three League. I ran the numbers on that eight regular season and two playoff games. Uh, that would put her at a Stephen Curry rate, roughly. Steph Curry makes about five hundred and something thousand dollars a game. She would be making five hundred thousand dollars a game. That is a Stephen Curry rate per game. This is from Ice Cube. We intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin plays for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. Let's keep reading on. Uh, the skeptics laugh when we made Nancy Lieberman the first female coach of a men's pro team, and she won the championship in her first year. Then Lisa Leslie won it all in year two with our offer. Caitlin Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for female or for women athletes. America's women athletes should not be forced to spend their off seasons playing in often dismal and dubious foreign countries. Damn, fuck Croatia, huh? Just to make ends meet. Um, and they should have more than just one professional option in the U.S. at a time when American pro sports leagues are being infiltrated by. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he was if it say something crazy. Maybe it still is autocratic. Anti-women regimes such as Qatar. Our path-breaking offer to Caitlin Clark demonstrates that Big Three now offers another choice for athletes. Now, I want y'all to know. Well, y'all go ahead. Tell me what y'all think, man. So this somehow spirals into it should have been someone else instead of Caitlin, doesn't it? There's a couple of different things. Now, I will, I'll, I'll say this. Let me give the, let me give some full context. Apparently, from what I read earlier today, is that. Ice Cube went to a bunch of people to get this money up. He did not have this money, but he went to a bunch of advertisers, a bunch of sponsors, and they somehow came with five million to give uh, uh, Caitlin Clark. Now, mind you, apparently, interesting how they do that. Ten K games. Yes, it's interesting. (laughs) Hey, when people can find money, man. (laughs) Money is. Hey, um, (laughs) it's just everywhere, man. You just gotta know the right. People. And low key. <laughs> hey, be right. People. Hey, low key. You just got to ask. Like, Facts. literally. <laughs> <laughs> niggas will give you money. Who knew? If you ask niggas for money, niggas will give it to you. I know that sounds so crazy. Privilege. I know that sounds privileged, but I'm keeping it a thousand with y'all. Just ask. <laughs> niggas got money. Yeah, like a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, keyboard it up. You know, the kind of <laughs> that's guy crazy. You are. Keyboard it up. But, okay, go ahead. I mean, tell me y'all's thoughts on this. Um, yeah. I mean, I was just surprised with because I haven't really been keeping up with the big three at all. Well, vaguely when it pops up on my timeline, but I thought the big three was for retired NBA players and making them a league so that they can continue their playing career post the NBA. <laughs> so, them offering. Um, essentially, a, a college athlete gonna be a WNBA player. That it just kind of confused me, but I don't know. Mm. Would I take it if I was her? I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna lie with the big three. I mean, at first it was for retired, uh, former players, former pro players, retired players, and stuff like that. But I want to say as of last year, or as of recently, as the years go by, when it comes to the big three, I forget how many years they've been doing it by now. Um, they've lowered the, the age requirement and the requirement to get into the big three. So now it's not just about being a retired player. It's, I guess, three years removed from the league. So it's a lot younger players there now. Um, Isaiah Briscoe was playing in the big three last year, I think. I want to say uh, Kyrie's cousin. Uh, that dude was popping like crazy in the mid-2010s, early – I want to say early 2010s, maybe even. Oh, or Quentin Richardson. Why he doing all like, that shit? Yeah, like they have way younger – uh, players relative to who we were used to at first, the Katino Mobleys and Kwame Brown type niggas. Like, yeah, it is younger people. So it will make sense that they do that they, they, they would throw something like that out there at someone. Um, I've seen the conversations where people are saying, why not X, Y, and Z? Why would you pick her? This, that, and the third. I didn't know that this was sponsor money. I didn't know this was advertiser money. That makes it like it makes a hundred percent sense now. 
Like at first, I wrapped my head around it. I'm like, all right. I mean, in the last five years, who's the highest marketed women's basketball player? Like, who would you have had in the high in the last five years? You can't really name a name bigger than Caitlin Clark for real. I mean, unless you want to say Angel Reese. And that was last year. Um, as of right now, Caitlin just seems like the bigger name in terms of the market. Um, now, if this is ad dollars, this is marketing dollars essentially. They're telling you specifically who they want. You can't be mad at Ice Cube for giving. Like niggas gave him the money to do something and gave him a direction to go, he went in that direction. I'm not, I'm not upset at that personally. Uh, I feel like this opens the door for other women. Um, I see somebody on, on, on the timeline saying Juju, nigga, she was a freshman. She has two more years, she really three more, two more years before she even can go pro legally, technically or whatever, unless it's a new opportunity. But this just opens the door. And if Caitlin goes over there and busts ass, she go, go over there and busts a bunch of old niggas ass. Nigga, everybody can go over there and the floodgates are open. Everybody get a deal first. But somebody got to break the uh, barrier. I mean, I'm not upset that it's having to be hurt. Yeah, I'm not upset at all. Let me be clear about my um, initial uh, prediction on where this news goes. <clears throat> God damn. I had to cough, but I didn't even do that for real. Um, nah, yeah, I'm not upset at all about it being Caitlyn. I mean, Donald's being nice with it, dog. I don't think Angel it was in the conversation, even in terms of motion, is great as I believe Angel Reese will be in terms of women's basketball. It's just Caitlin Clark's just the girl right now. It just it she she's she's her. It is what it is. And especially with sponsorship dollars, mm-hmm. that's that's who they're that's who they're looking for. That's the easiest name that if I had to invest, I don't know, five million dollars in somebody succeeding, it'd be Caitlin Clark. So I'm not mad at it at all. I don't even have too much to say. I and mean, it's not like I watch the most college uh hoops in general, let alone college women hoops. But um, yeah. I'm proud well, of it. Proud let of me it. take over because I know what Bobby wants to do. Listen, um, I don't. I I hear the conversations about getting all the other people in there. Blah. Don't don't really care. They're not her. They're not Hermity. They're not Hermity like my good sis. Stop bringing up people that still have eligibility. This isn't how that works. Um, you know, you do the nil. I think to me now there's going to be a conflict. Let me also mention this. The U.S. women's national team uh, is apparently going to be playing at the same exact time as the big three will be going on. So she would have to make the decision, do I go play with the team and, you know, the Olympics and all this other stuff? Or do I go to the big three? Because uh, this is also another day where they announced Caitlin Clark uh, being the only college player that's going to be on that U.S. women's national team. They did that today as well, too. Um you know, listen, she's the golden goose. I, I understand some of the racial dynamics. I'm not here to focus on that because, one, I like the player, so maybe I can't see past some of that. I do understand the politics behind it. Um, that that just kind of is the way it is right now. Not saying that it's right, not saying that it's wrong. It's just the way it is. That girl can hoop to me. So it is what it is. My biggest thing in all this is I told y'all not too long ago that there is a problem with the NBA. There is a problem with the NBA. And I'm saying that because the NBA exists as the parent company for the WNBA. If Ice Cube can go get $5 million for her, you can't tell me that they can't go and get an astronomical amount of money and things for the WNBA. I looked at some of the statistics and reporting for you know, what the WNBA brought in last year. And that's something for a longer solo stream. So I won't bore you with that here. But he was able to go get five. Like, me and B-Souls were on a call today, man. Money is out there. You can go get it. And I don't even think we have the same contacts as other people do. So mm-hmm. I, I think that if if these entities wanted funding, if you know, all these things like that, yo, you could go get it. It can be done two times over. You feel what I'm saying? He did that. I don't know how long it took him to do that. But let's just say it took him the, the from the last season to the next season. In a year, he raised five million dollars for one for one player for ten games. You telling me the entity that is the NBA can't raise that for the WNBA, or at least let the let let things be? Hey, you handle it yourself, and then they can't do it. It's a deeper conversation. And if you also thought that these players and the NIL deals and they'll make less money in college and all that stuff like that, you're stupid, dog. With more time, effort, and energy, 
the money is out there. They can go get that money if they want to. I saw a, a long conversation. Uh, it was a podcast with a couple of players, and they went into it. Aaliyah Boston, Paige, Sue Bird, and uh, what was that? Was that NECA? I think it was NECA. But nonetheless, yeah, the money is out there, dog. It is out there. Good, good on Caitlin. Uh, good on Cube for showing that it's possible. Um, she probably shouldn't do it, and she should probably represent the country. That's just me. Our money ain't good money. If this is going to divide a, I think that this decision would divide a bunch of people. So yeah, that's my biggest concern with this is if she does go and she does not bust some ass and she gets her ass busted, there's going to be some nasty conversations. Even Very if she, nasty bust, conversations. I think even if she busts ass, it's not going to make her look. You know, I'm just saying that because some other people. I know Lexi Brown. Lexi Brown talked about it on Gill's podcast, and I want to, I can, I can bring that up, uh, but. I don't know how people are dealing with this attention. You know what I'm saying? When the young person comes in and they have all this attention and stuff like that, how are how are other people looking at her? What do you mean? Um, people be hating. You the young gun, you pull it you you, you got surpass she, I think at this point surpassing like Wimby level expectations. This is this is absolutely um, nuts. So this is this is from Lexi Brown, current LA Sparks guard. I think I think Lexi plays for the Sparks. Um, oh shit! Wrong thing. Wrong thing. My, 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 my bad. My bad. If you yeah. open the article and you see what he said was his reasoning, he wanted to provide more opportunities for WNBA players and provide opportunities to not go overseas. So you offered the contract to a player who's not yet even in the WNBA. Mm. Big three does not happen during overseas season. So that, that doesn't make sense. That's true. And then um, you pretty much offended all of the European countries that open their doors to us, give us a lot of money, a lot of love, and a lot of experience by calling them dismal and dubious. And there are some very beautiful countries that we have the opportunity to go play in. So, I mean, if you're going to say that it's, for that, then stand on that. But I don't think it's, I think he's trying to make a business decision, which he's a businessman, that makes sense. But to mask it in this, I want to uplift and support WNBA players and women athletes is kind of a cop out, I think. And I don't think it really makes any sense. And there's some truth to that because some some WNBA players have actually started a league uh, this, this past off season. It's actually running right now, but they've started a league separate of the WNBA to keep people in shape and do different things like that. Um, Oh, look at O'Shea Dick Suck Jackson. So I don't I'm, Lexi Lexi has some points there. Maybe in a in a real utopian society, um Ice Cube could have helped their new league get sponsorships and bring in five million dollars and all these different things like that. But at the end of the day, there's there could be some hate in that. There could very much be some hate in her criticism. And people are definitely going to say, you know, it was, oh, it was directed at Ice Cube, but it could be some hate towards Caitlin Clark. And she's going to come into a league like that. And that is, mm, that's scary. 